hello friends this is summer once again from sony tech okay so in this one i'm going to show you how to add loti animations inside of your react native expo app so we're going to be creating this with towing css and loti animation so i'm going to show you how to sign up for a loti account and also how to add this bad boy into your projects because we know animation is good for a great user experience okay so i'll be making the source code to this project available on my github so i'll be leaving a link in the description down below so when you head over to my github so the github.com slash on you head over to the repository tab. um it's react native loti yt project okay so please don't forget to give this a star and also if you're interested in um content related to web development pc tricks tech trend um please subscribe to our channel um more videos coming soon and you can also um, buy me a coffee okay so great okay so let me put this um here and grab my vs code okay okay so i'm going to be explaining what i have here okay so essentially this is my app.js where everything is injected so i have a view with some towing styling so to add towing um css inside of your react native expo application and i have a video on towing adding towing css i'll be leaving that in the description down below too but then um visit when you visit your browser when you open your browser um search for um t w r n so this time for towing react native class names and you then be click on the very first search results you see or head to the npm website and search for it okay so it's simple to install so you just do npm install or yarn add twrn okay so great okay so i have three components i created here which is the image component which contains the animation we have here and the subtext which contains this part of the app and also the button which was styled beautifully with towin css you should try using towin towin saves you time okay so flex one in background of white and i give margin top of 55 so i can um, make space if there's any notch um up here yes and uh, margin horizontal so four okay so great okay so now let me show you how i added the loti um animation so expo has support for loti animation so what you have to do is to head over to your browser and uh first and foremost uh you search for loti files okay so let me go back and okay so you search for loti files in your browser just as i have here my internet is being slow i don't know for some reason so when you search for loti files and you click on the very first search results you see and you sign up okay so you can either choose you can sign up with google you can um create an account using your github for, and you wait for the authorization process and all that okay great so once you're done with that um in the search bar you just search for any animation you want so let's assume i have this one so i want to click on this guy and this these are the free ones the premium ones are very very nice and cool but it's um i think it's 24 bucks a month yes that's not it's, it's not much money you guys have money so here click on download and you download lottie json it's really small that's like 26.2 kilobytes okay so great so once you're done with that you're going to get the json file so this is the json file i downloaded so this is it and i named the field so grab the json file and add it to your assets folder or anywhere you will remember so mine is here so next um let's go back to our browser and search for loti animations expo you can read through the docs and see um more about this fluity animation okay so great back to vs code so what i did was to import the loti view from loti react native so you install the loti react native package using npm install loti react native package and i also did import stowing so i this is a component here and you pass in the source prop and you set your um gc file the one you downloaded then you can set auto play it's going to continue to play like we have here it's going to you can set the loop to be called to true i can do loop and set it to true um true yeah i don't know yeah true 
you can do this or you can just leave it as loop and you pass in the style if you don't add a style prop nothing is going to show here so you need to give it a width and a height okay so great after that um every if everything is wired up correctly you should be good to go okay so essentially guys um this is it for adding loot animations instead of react native expo so i'll see you on that video don't forget to um, like this video please subscribe please share and always you can buy me a coffee if you like my videos too bye